Hi, welcome to Monster Transmissions. Today we're going to show you the instructions on how to install a lockup kit on a 204R transmission. Now, this lockup kit is designed specifically for vehicles that already have a working lockup kit in the transmission. Now, this will allow you to control lockup by the toggle switch and it also will control it when it goes in and out of lockup in fourth gear. So it's a control mechanism to allow you to control the operation of lockup on your 204R. First of all, you receive the kit, will appear in a kit like this. All the components are inside with the instructions. We'll open them up here and review all the components that are included. First you notice you have your pigtail electrical connector. You'll have a ground strap and about 20 feet of electrical 18 gauge wire. That's so you can run the power from your fuse panel down to the transmission. You also have another bag of smaller components. You'll have the toggle switch itself, the support bracket, and two screws to mount the bracket switch mechanism onto the dash of your vehicle. You could also just cut a hole in the dash area, then mount it and just snap the switch into. So it'll also include a brass fitting. It's an elbow. So we're going to put a switch on the outside of the transmission. This will allow you to do that. It'll also come with two inline wire connectors and three spade connectors to plug into the connectors on the toggle switch. It will also include an oil pressure switch. These are all the parts that come in the kit as well as the instructions. Very easy to read. It will have pictures and diagrams on how to install this kit. And now that we have all the components, now these are the tools you'll need to install the kit. you need an electrical tester to test your, test your harness to make sure you have power when the ignition is on. You also need a pair of crescent pliers, a 9 16th wrench, a pair of wire strippers and crimpers, 11 millimeter or 7 16 socket, and a ratchet. And these are all the tools you'll need to install the kit. We'll first start by explaining how to do the electrical work inside the vehicle. You want to find a good 12 volt source, at least a 20 amp fuse, to power the lockup circuit. Then you run the power source with your electrical wire down to the hot lead on, your, on the pigtail connector of the transmission. The pigtail connector will already have connectors on them. This connector here is your hot lead, the red hot lead. You'll have the black wire wired into this switch. And this other end is your ground connector. And we'll go over that in a moment. Once you have a 12 volt signal coming down to the transmission, it's actually going to be fed from this toggle switch. So you're going to go from the 12 volt source in your fuse panel to the positive connector here on the toggle switch. The center connector is a spade connector and that will feed the black wire, 18 gauge wire, from the center of this down to the wire connector on the pigtail. This other connector is your ground source and the fuse panel. Up near the steering column in that area, you want to ground the switch. That will allow the switch to light up when it has 12 volt power. This is a support bracket which you can mount on the dash and the screws. Now that we have the wire running down 12 volt source down to the transmission, this will be the pigtail connector. It will only fit one way. It has a locking tab on the top and it's a lock pin on the top of the factory case connector. So you have this connector facing upward and simply snap it in. And now you're going to take your 12 volt from the toggle switch, wire it in here to the connector, and now you have your 12 volt source. And this ground connector will now feed over to the pressure switch on the other side of the case. You'll actually screw into a port already in the case. This will control your fourth gear. When it gets fourth gear oil pressure, it will ground the switch and complete the circuit and engage the lockup clutch. 
We'll now turn the transmission around to demonstrate how you would install the pressure switch. This is where you'll need the 11 millimeter or 716 socket or wrench. You remove this plug, the factory plug in the case. You install the brass fitting, put some Teflon tape on there to make sure it doesn't leak around the seal or the threads itself. You thread this in. And this is where the 9 16 wrench comes in. You want to secure this brass fitting. You do not want to over tighten because you'll snap it off into the case. You want to rotate this thing, the elbow, straight up. Now you can install the oil pressure switch. The switch already has some Teflon sealant on it. And this is where the crescent pliers come in. You want to ensure that you grip the, ex the metal portion of the oil pressure switch. Secure it into the elbow. Again, do not over tighten. And do not grab the plastic portion of the switch because you can twist that and it will cause it to leak. You want to rotate the switch to where this rear prong is closest to the case. This will allow the ground switch wire connector from your case connector to reach over and snap into the oil pressure switch. Now that you have the ground feed to your electrical harness, this is, will complete your ground circuit. You plug this ground connector, you notice it has an eyelet on one end and a spade connector on the other. That will snap in to this side and then you will ground this either to the cross member or to the frame or find some good ground source to ground the circuit. So when the transmission is engaged, 12 volt power will come into the switch, into the solenoid, and it will be activated when the transmission shifts into fourth gear. When it shifts into fourth gear, it will complete this circuit, it will engage the clutch and the converter, and lower your RPMs. This is a real simple process that does not require a vacuum switch our brake switch. It's a very simple 12 volt strictly electric and hydraulic circuit. If you have any further questions on this kit, please give us a call here at Monster Transmissions, 1-800-708-0087. Talk to you then.